Casey here from Dar Sizzle Offshore with another exciting video for you guys to watch today. On this trip, we had three guys out from Chicago ready to fish offshore, but we were forced to fish inshore because it was just too windy to get out there. But we killed it on day one, catching a total of four snook and a bunch of other fish. Check me out in this next clip of me catching my biggest boy in snook, a nice slot fish. Oh my god! I'm really excited right now. I can see this. <laughs> Three times a charm, baby. No, this is actually six for seven. <laughs> six for eight. Well, on the snow. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. <gasps> it's not that big. He's big! Oh my oh. god! Oh. <laughs> All right, hold All right on. chill, chill. Oh. Hold on. Good. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, what are you gonna do? You gonna I'm pick gonna, them up? Yeah, I'm gonna pick them up. Alright. I'm trying to get this fish, I don't wanna lose it. I know. Get that line out. Oh, that's clear. You're good, fight for fish. Open that up. Try to get the uh. Yeah, that's good. Oh my god. Grab that little pole on there. Get that pole on there. had to get out there again on day two and catch more snook. We again caught a variety of fish. Jacks, bluefish, ladyfish, and even a little ray. But then it was snook time again. So check out the action and stay tuned for a quick how-to segment on how to catch inshore fish and in snook in Boynton Beach. and I'm currently fishing right now with some lip divers in the intercoastal and uh, we just landed a nice snook right here and she just hit a lip diver and we just been pulling lip divers all day because offshore is um, rough right now so we can't take our boat offshore so we come in shore and we pull lip divers around the intercoastal and we usually catch all kinds of fish snook uh, we catch ladyfish, we catch jack crevals, we catch all kinds of fish. It's a lot of fun, catch and release, and uh, I'm going to let this snook go. But gorgeous fish, and a great fight, and an enjoyable day on the water, even though we're not offshore. And i got to get this hook out. Hey, it's Star Sizzle. Wrapping up our day off here, wrapping up our day here, and we are currently in shore fishing in Boynton Beach in the intercoastal. And we're wrapping up our day. This is the last fish of the day I just caught. This Jack Reval gave us a nice hard run. It was a lot of fun to catch him, and I'm going to go ahead and release him. But hang on just a moment because I'm going to tell you what we used to catch our inshore fish today, because we could not get offshore due to rough weather. 
So let me release him and hang on just a moment. I'll be right back to explain everything. Here he goes. Hey anglers, I just wanted to give you a quick overview and explain to you a bit about what I did today. This weekend I was restricted to, off, restricted to inshore fishing because offshore fishing was too rough. Usually I'm out there offshore chasing pelagics. So what we did this weekend was we fished inshore and we pulled lip divers around. And basically a lip diver looks like this. This particular one is a mirror lure and anything, any type of lure that has a type of lip on the front of it like this will work. And basically it's really easy to do. We just tied on the lures and trolled three lines down the intercoastal. It's very slow. The slower you're going, the better. So when you're in the no wake zones, just troll a couple lures through there just for the heck of it. You never know what it could produce. Um, as long as the tide is moving, you're bound to catch something out here. Believe it or not, I caught six snook on these lip divers, which was awesome this weekend. One of the snook was a slot fish, but we did release all of our fish. We also happened to catch bluefish, jack crevals, uh, ladyfish, and even mangrove snappers. So you catch a wide variety of fish on these types of lip divers. It's a great fun catch and release experience and I'm really happy that we caught six snook in Boynton Beach, my stomping grounds. Woohoo! So it was an awesome day on the water and this inshore fishing works just as well, you know, when you can't go offshore. So I hopefully this will help you and you can use these techniques on your boat and let me know how it works. Dar Sizzle out.